Tell me about the children. Dr. Halsey. You already know everything. You kidnapped them. Children's minds are more easily accepting of indoctrination. Their bodies more adaptable to augmentation. The result was the ultimate soldier. And because of our success, when the Covenant invaded, we were ready. Dr. Halsey, you're bending history for your own favor, and you know it. You developed the Spartans to crush human rebellion, not to fight the Covenant. When one human world after another fell, when my Spartans were all that stood between humanity and extinction, nobody was concerned about why they were originally built. So you feel, in the end, your choices were justified. My work saved the human race. Do you think the Spartans' lack of basic humanity helped? What are you after? The others before you were naval intelligence, but you... You're something else. Records show Spartans routinely exhibited mildly sociopathic tendencies, difficulty with socialization and verbalization. The records show efficient behavior operating in hazardous situations. I supplied the tools to maintain that efficiency. Do you believe the Master Chief succeeded because he was, at his core, broken? What does John have to do with this? You want to replace him? The Master Chief is dead. His file reads, missing in action. Catherine. Spartans never die. Your mistake is seeing Spartans as military hardware. My Spartans are humanity's next step. Our destiny as a species. Do not underestimate them. But most of all, do not underestimate him. Wake up, Chief. I 
need you. You did it! Get back! Where are we? Checking coordinate impact data. We have asked you to give up your family, your childhood, your future. Cortana. I'm sorry. It's the crash. I'm fine. Something was wrong even before we left the dawn. Chief? Really? I'm fine. Cortana. I was put into service eight years ago. Eight years. AIs deteriorate after seven, Chief. Halsey. Chief. We need to find Halsey. Chief, please. She made you. She can fix you. I won't recover from rampancy, Chief. If we can just get back to Earth and find Halsey, she can fix this. Don't. Make a girl a promise you can't keep. We need to move. The cartographer keeps acting like the transmission is coming from everywhere on the planet at once. It doesn't want to triangulate Infinity's signal. Oh wait, I got it. That can't be right. Scan again. We've already passed through one layer of the planet's surface. It's not crazy to think that someone else made it deeper inside than we did. You mean the planet's hollow? Let me see if I can figure out a way to reach these coordinates that doesn't involve us digging a really big hole. There's a terminus on the far side of the complex. We can portal to the planet's core from there. What? I don't know. If we have a shot at getting you back to infinity, we're taking it.
enemies move deeper into our territory with abandon. They must be eradicated. Shall we take revenge? Abandon the mantle and all that its philosophy has given us these thousand generations? All our plans have been torn asunder. More reason not to abandon our beliefs. The mantle is our guidepost in times such as these. We must not falter in following its teachings. The enemy must be sent home and taught to stand with the galaxy rather than rail against us and take what they desire. The mantle shelters all. Didact, you make a fair, if uncomfortable, point. You have my support. Librarian, will you likewise follow the mantle as the Didact suggests? Yes, Master Builder. You're not angry at me. We had this discussion a century ago. Ah, so you are angry at me. In the chambers, yes. But not now. You'll depart for Requiem soon? At dawn. My Prometheans are already there. Already there? You knew the Master Builder would side with you. Should we step back inside the Council Chamber? No. I would rather we spend our night out here. There will be fighting enough in the days ahead. According to the Cathedral, this terminus is just one node of a larger transit grid that spans the entire planet. What? When I tried to access the outlet closest to Infinity's transmissions, the system responded with this. What is it? That's the kicker. It's the forerunner symbol for Reclaimer. Humanity. That's got to be Infinity. Can you get us to those coordinates? Let me try to open a portal. Cortana. I'm picking up unknown energy signatures. Where? This can't be right. Set a waypoint out of the tower. Cortana. How did... Quick! Into the portal! Chief, go! Where's Infinity? This is Requiem's core, all right. But Infinity is definitely not here. That satellite in the center is amplifying the ship's broadcasts like a relay. Maybe we can use it to respond. Perhaps. Those beams coming off it are creating the interference we've been experiencing. We'd have to take them out to contact Infinity. Can you get us there? Opening a gate to the first beam pylon. Pull me, and let's go. War is your realm, Didact, not mine. And you march to this war, facing foes that, while always aggressive, were never so aggressive as they are now. Your fears are unfounded. The enemy will be turned, and I shall stand by your side once more. Promise me that. I promise you. Nothing will stand between us.
Lord of Admirals. We are in position over the Forerunner planet. Shoot. Population numbering over two billion. Forerunner ships on alert and inbound. Is it possible? Have we gotten ahead of it? Flood infestation detected, my lord. Damn it! My lord, the infestation is in a remote locale. Perhaps if we warn the Forerunners? If we warn them, we give the Flood time to spread. You know we have no choice. Cleanse the planet. Infinity, this is Sierra 117 of the UNSC Forward Unto Dawn. Do you copy? Infinity, do you read? Chief? Chief, let go of the contacts. Find us an exit. Don't wait around on my account! So fades the great harvest of my betrayer. Even these beasts recognize what you were oblivious to, human. Your nobility has blinded you, as ever. The librarian left little to chance, didn't she? Turning my own guardians, my own world, against me. But what hubris to believe she could protect her pets from me forever. If you haven't mastered even these primitives, then man has not attained the matter. Your ascendance may yet be prevented. Time was your ally, human. But now it has abandoned you. The foreigners have returned. This tomb is now yours. Okay. 
to seize control of our ship. We're without power. We're on a collision course with an unidentified Forerunner planet. Track its descent. Marking. Impact predicted 77.8 kilometers due north. You know where he's heading. Same place we are. Stay low. Recon sortie heading this way. The ship looks intact. Something tells me that's only because the Didact wanted it that way. This is Lasky to UNSC Infinity. We're up to our next of bad guys down here. Does anyone read? This is Sierra 117 of the UNSC Forward Under Dawn. We're on station, ready to assist. Negative copy. Sounded like you said Forward Under Dawn. Come in. Signal's bouncing in and out. I can't clean it up. Light up their friend or foe tags. We're gonna need something to zero in on. We're gonna have to give you an IOU on that welcome home party. Tom Lasky, first officer of the Infinity. Never thought I'd see you again. Seal her up! I thought you'd be taller. Ground forces are ordered to return to Infinity immediately. Commander! Radio's hot! This is Commander Lasky. The Helkin recon teams are down. Repeat, all birds are down. We've got numerous casualties and require immediate assistance. Over. Finally. You get the coordinates of that gravity well. Affirmative, sir, but we're gonna need a bus out of here. Make it happen. You were sent on a scouting run in the middle of an attack on the ship. The captain thought Infinity could provide us cover and hold off the attack at the same time. Sir, we'll never get the wounded back to the ship on foot. I don't know if it's too soon to ask you for a favor, but we're gonna run out of breathing room here real quick. I don't suppose you're any good at clearing LZs. On occasion. I'll send out an all clear once the area is secured. Lord of Admirals. So very many years have we battled. The mantle accepts all who live fiercely, who defend their young, who build and struggle and grow. And even those who dominate, as humans have dominated, cruelly and without wisdom. For all of us, there is a time like this. And for you, that time is now. Know this, relentless enemy, killer of our children, Lord of Admirals. Soon we will face the enemy you have faced. And we are afraid. 
My life workers are investigating, but I believe the humans were never attacking us. Tell that to the millions of dead. The humans were acting as caretakers, pruning away planets so that this infection would not spread. They took the mantle of responsibility upon themselves, and in so doing, they brought this sickness to our shores. Husband. Where the hell did those things come from? It's possible that they're native to Requiem, or whatever counts as native for a Forerunner AI. We've never seen this type of offensive reaction from any of the other installations. Other installations? Mr. Lasky. Infinity's mission has been to locate the remaining Halo rings, and establish permanent bases to study them for decommission. We got locations up and running around installations 5 and 3, but... Lately, they've run into some setbacks. A science team got zapped excavating a Forerunner artifact. This sensor data is all that was left. Interesting. These symbols are a derivation of the Forerunner glyph system. And our geeks managed to pull some coordinates. I'll give you three guesses where it led. Sir, Gypsy Company is prepped and ready to roll on your orders. Thank you, Palmer. Mr. Lasky, you take point. I want boots on the ground in 60. Captain. This is a first contact scenario, Master Chief. Priority is to free Infinity from Requiem's gravity well and file a threat assessment back at Fleetcom. You mean we're leaving? Sir, Infinity drove the Didact back. He's vulnerable. He isn't the only one. You know, I think you, of all people, would appreciate the benefit of living to fight another day. Infinity to Gypsy Company. The air corridor to the gravity well is blocked by a network of particle cannons. Infinity shields are still down. Open the lane for us to move up and provide air support. Captain, what's Force Recon's assessment of the terrain? I know you've been off the field for a while, Master Chief, but this is a blow-through op. Sending in a recon would just slow us down. Telemetry indicates the particle cannons are being controlled from a command post southwest of our position. Roll on that target and neutralize those guns. We'll meet on the other side and take the gravity well. Infinity out. I don't know about you, but I usually like a little more intel with my intel. We'll make it work. Who are you? I am what remains of the Forerunner, once known as the Librarian. My memories were retained to assist humanity on their path to the Mantle. Though sadly, that plan is now at risk. The Didact is leaving Requiem. Soon, you must not allow it. Leaving? He seeks this. The Composer. A device which will allow him to finally contain the greatest enemy ever faced by the Forerunners. You.
Mankind spread into the stars with an unexpected desperate violence. Entire systems fell before the Didax warrior servants rose to halt the aggression. Didact finally exhausted the humans after a millennia. His sentence was severe. We had no way of knowing that the Forerunners were not your only enemy. Humanity hadn't been expanding. They were running. Weakened from our conflict, we were no match for the parasite which pursued you. The Forerunners made plans for a final great journey. But the Didact refused to yield our mantle of responsibility. He would save all life in the galaxy. At a cost. In the Forerunners' quest for transcendence, the Composer had been intended to bridge the organic and digital realms. It would have made us immortal. Its results soured. The stored personalities fragmented, and our attempts to return them to biological states created only abominations. Such moral concerns faded from the Didact's attention. The flood only assimilated living tissue. The composer would provide the Didact his solution and his revenge. The Prometheans. They're human. They were only the beginning. You would have encrypted your entire race if we had not removed the Composer from his care and imprisoned him here. Reclaimer. When I indexed mankind for repopulation, I hid seeds from the Didact. Seeds which would lead to an eventuality. Your physical evolution. Your combat skin. Even your Ancilla Cortana. You are the culmination of a thousand lifetimes of planning. Planning for what? He has found us. Even in death, her meddling continues. Reclaimer, the gene song I placed within you contains many gifts, including an immunity to the Composer. But it must be unlocked. How? Relinquish your contact essence. Your evolutionary journey must be accelerated. Can I defeat the Didact without it? No. Then do it. Prepare. The humans' actions threaten the galaxy, yet we have treated them as the mantle required. Their punishment is just. Justice is reducing their genetics in such short generations from a space-faring race to... this? They are closer now to the animals they behaved as. If not for their encounter with the Flood, their gene plan could have surpassed our own. They could have someday held the mantle of responsibility. The humans were not meant to protect others. The mantle of responsibility for all things is ours, and ours alone. Yes, the mantle is ours. And we hold it so tight that even in death we shall hold it still.
Infinity cannot handle that kind of punishment. Not again. This isn't about us or this ship anymore. Sir, we've seen what the Didact is capable of. If we let him leave this world, humanity will be at risk. Look, I understand what you think you saw. Think? With all due respect, sir, I know what I saw. And with all due respect to you, soldier, I'm not willing to jeopardize my ship because of the hallucinations of an aging Spartan and his malfunctioning AI. Sir, what if he's right? Nav, as soon as we know we're airtight, I want a course laid into Karanay Station. Come, prepare a warning beacon. I will not allow you to leave this planet! Cortana. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Commander Lasky. Pursuant to Article 55 of UNSC Regulation 12, 14572, I'm ordering you to remove that AI's data chip and retire it for final dispensation. I don't want to. You don't want me to. Remove Please. the chip now, Commander. Please. I don't want to. Give me that chip. The didact has to be stopped. If you won't do that, I will. I am ordering you to surrender that AI! No, sir. Lieutenant! Arrest that man! Captain! Arrest him! Captain! Get word to Earth that trouble is coming. Cortana and I will do what we can back here. I can give you over 40,000 reasons why I know that sun isn't real. I know it because the emitter's Rayleigh effect is disproportionate to its suggested size. I know it because its stellar cycle is more symmetrical than that of an actual star. But for all that, I'll never actually know if it looks real, if it feels real. Before this is all over, promise me you'll figure out which one of us is the machine. So what's your plan? Infinity's tracked the Didact's vessel to a docking structure southeast of here. We'll jump ship as Infinity exits the roof. You know, I was sent down here with orders to prevent you from leaving. In case you'd already gone, I took the precaution of ordering a pelican. Outfitted for full combat pursuit. I hope to God you're wrong about that forerunner. Or whatever he is, Chief. But in the vent, you're not. And Chief, good luck. Both of you. Come on, Chief. Take a girl for a ride. Tana, what's happening? I don't know. Hang on!
surface. Get below deck. No time. Tana. Still here. A halo? Installation 3. It's where Infinity found the coordinates for Requiem. Then why are they bypassing it? Because the Composer's not on the ring. What are you waiting for? That station's not gonna save itself. This is UNSC Master Chief to base. Do you read? Yes, I read you. This is Sandy Tilson of Ivanov Station. We're under attack. They're after a Forerunner artifact you took from the Halo Ring. How do you know about that? Doctor, I need you to protect that artifact until we arrive. Send whatever... Do you know what that condescending bitch said to me after our first game of chess? Cortana. Even I don't call it by name anymore. Correct your approach. Yes, well, he also said he works better alone. I can see why you chose him, Catherine. Cortana. I'm your greatest achievement, you detect- Pull up! Now! I desperately hope you know why all this is happening. Because, to be honest, my objectivity isn't doing me a whole lot of good right now. Hold on. I'll start us down. The device you recovered was a Forerunner weapon. The commander of that ship wants it back. Wants it back? You don't think you can remove... It can't leave the station. You know that, right? We don't have any choice, Doctor. It's not a matter of choice. It took three months. And, and the biggest starship the UNSC could throw at it just to relocate it here. Unless you're a lot stronger than you look. It's not going anywhere. Can you give Cortana access to the station's supply manifest? What for? If we can't move the Composer, we have to make sure the Didact can't either. Oh, wait. We have years of work invested here. Inventory lists seven excavation-grade Havoc mines. Just one of those would turn this base into a pinata. I'm sorry, Doctor. Keep routing your people to the evac centers. Once we take care of the Composer, you won't have much time. I'll uh, make sure the nukes are primed so you can detonate them remotely. Maybe next time you rescue us, you can give us more time to pack. Next time.
flood is still too strong. Perhaps if I had greater numbers. Humans, your kind brought the flood to our shores. Now you will aid in ending its threat. once more, better than before. Your pets have a nobler purpose ahead of them. You do not face me in person after your deceit. I have an army to build from the raw materials harvested this day. The citizens of this halo are my first conscripts, and with them in my thrall, the Flood will meet its defeat. Humanity's loss of biological form will serve as final payment for their crimes. It is a kindness they do not deserve. What will be done? Move the other humans to safety. Ensure the security of their index samples. They must finish what we have failed to do. Librarian, where are you going? To stop my husband's madness. They've compromised the station's hull. The Didact's taken the composer. Get these people to the evac centers. Taken? Taken how? Tap the flight deck. Find us something that can carry a payload. Wait. Something's happening. Cortana. Can you access the station's defense systems? They're not responding. Cortana! Jeez! It's... Are you okay? I monitored the data pulse. I could hear them. What was left of them? We need to move. These people are gone. And more will follow if the Didact reaches Earth. I'll pair you with another AI. Maybe even another Cortana model if Halsey lets them. That's not going to happen. It won't be me. You know that, right? Spinning up a broadsword in Hangar C-11. Whatever the Librarian did to you obviously worked. Cortana. It's not over. Not yet. Not yet.
Approaching the Didact ship in 200 kilometers. Once we get on board, we'll find the bridge. He's on the move again. The fighter's shields aren't rated for slip space. No, but the Didacts are. the last one. Infinity, you're clear. Roger that, Chief. You might want to back up a little. Main battery, fire! Clean hit. We're proceeding to insertion. Acknowledged. We'll be on station if you need us. Make sure you give the didact our regards. Infinity out. Now what do we do? Plan B. My dear husband. I know your crimes, and I have found forgiveness. I know your reasons. I understand them. I know you. Perhaps better than you could ever hope to know yourself. I ask you, forgive my transgressions. Like yourself, all I have done done for the greater good. Our time as the galaxy's caretakers is past. The Flood have overrun us. In the days to come, the Halo Rings will fire, eradicating the Flood and all other life for a time. I have worked hard to index all species in known space. When the time comes, these indexes will open, and once more the galaxy will breathe and grow. Blood will pump, life will claw its way out of the oceans and through the mud. Babes will be born, and grow old under the warmth of a thousand suns. Civilizations will rise in our stead, and our job as caretakers will at last bear fruit. Until then, I leave you here, my love. The only living thing in this galaxy, sealed safely away. Spend these ages ahead of you in meditation on your choices. When you wake, you will find the humans. I have ensured that they will grow strong and vibrant. They will be our rightful heirs. Their gene plan dictates that the galaxy will be theirs to care for by then. I beg of you, find the strength to help them learn from our mistakes. And my husband, let them teach you as well. Please.
Cortana! Cortana. Cortana, do you read? Cortana, come in. the strangest thing you've seen all day but if we're here it worked you did it just like you always do so how do we get out of here I'm not coming with you this time what most of me is down there. I only held enough back to get you off the ship. No. That's not... We go together. It's already done. I am not leaving you here. John. I've 
You've waited so long to do that. It was my job to take care of you. We were supposed to take care of each other. And we did. Cortana, please. Wait. Welcome home, John. Mind if I join you? Of course not, sir. At ease, Chief. Feels kind of odd for you to call me sir. Beautiful, isn't she? I don't get to see her often enough. I grew up in New Harmony. Attended Corbulo Military Academy. Never saw Earth in person until I was an adult, but I still think of her as home. You don't talk much, do you? Chief, I won't pretend to know how you feel. I mean, I've lost people I care about, but... Never anything like you're going through. Our duty as soldiers is to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. You say that like soldiers and humanity are two different things. I mean, soldiers aren't machines. We're just people. I'll let you have the deck to yourself. She said that to me once. About being a machine.
In this hour of victory, we taste only defeat. I ask why. We are forerunners, guardians of all that exists. The roots of the galaxy have grown deep under our careful tending. Where there is life, the wisdom of our countless generations has saturated the soil. Our strength is a luminous sun towards which all intelligence blossoms and the impervious shelter beneath which it has prospered. I stand before you, accused of the sin of ensuring foreigner ascendancy, of attempting to save us from this fate where we are forced to recede. Humanity stands as the greatest threat in the galaxy. Refusing to eradicate them is a fool's gambit. We squander eons in the darkness, while they seize our triumphs for their own. The mantle of responsibility for all things belongs to forerunners alone. Think of my acts as you will, but do not doubt the reality. The reclamation has already begun. And we are hopeless to stop it. Well, I'm not gonna complain. Uh-huh. So tell me more about Rio. What else did I miss? Oh, man, the place is a mess. I mean, too many Covenant Asylum Seekers, all pinned up. Yeah, DeMarco said it was crazy. Well, it could have been worse. I mean, look what happened to New Phoenix. We even caught this one St. Healy freak trying to detonate a Havoc nuke. Oh yeah, give it a rest. We all know you were on the other side of town when they caught that hinge head. Yeah? And where were you, DeMarco? Well, Madsen and me? We were just making sure the ladies of Rio de Janeiro felt safe and secure. That's right. Just fire team majestic doing a little community outreach, man. That's right. <laughs> you had people in New Phoenix, didn't you? I did. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's all right. I'll get over it. Hey, Thor. Just take a look at this. There she is, man. Infinity. Spartans, I'm Roland, Ship's AI, at your service. On the line, Spartans. Someone will be along to show you around shortly. All right, Majestic, form up. Spartan. Paul DeMarco. I lead fire team Majestic. Wow. A whole fire team, huh? Uh, I didn't catch your name? Sarah Palmer. Commander Sarah Palmer. I lead all the fire teams aboard Infinity. Fire team Majestic, Commander on deck! <laughs> At ease, Spartans. Follow me. S deck is this way. <laughs> Shut it. Attention, all hands. Trevor, slip space jump. This is the latest SIGINT on Covenant fleet locations, Captain. Pretty standard positioning, really. Commander Palmer. 
Things get boring in Spartan Town? Captain Lasky. You know I come up here for my peace and quiet. I'm not interrupting nap time, am I? On the contrary. Show starts at 0500. We've waited six months. We could spend another 48 hours running the teams through the war games. Navy disagrees with Spartans on this one. They want you ready. Now. Ladies and other Spartans, listen up. Your new workplace is a planet first discovered by humanity six months ago, called Requiem. Some of the old hands here know what you're in for. The rest of you, you're due an education. set up research bases. But, before they can do that, we need to fend off some Covenant squatters. The Coveys. They believe this is the home of one of their gods. The way I see it, if those freaks want to meet God, it's our duty to help them along. Space, Captain Lasky. Lieutenant Austin, the word is given. Drop some vessels on my mark. Mark. Some vessel dropping in. Transmitting targeting data to all. Government is deployed to fall attack class. And thank you to the fire. All Spartan fire teams are prepped and ready for launch. Some vessels. Followed orders. Be fine. Armor base waiting, team leader. Commander Palmer. What's that? Crimson team scored the first grab. Whatever it is, it's got the eggheads all tingling. <laughs> Reporting loss of power, sir. I'm trying to source it now. Get the engine room on the line. Aye, aye, sir. Dr. Glassman, Infinity's losing power. So I've noticed, Captain. Ah! Artificial gravity is offline as well. Sir, being pulled towards the planet. I need answers. You take engines built by aliens a hundred thousand years ago and hire a war criminal to bolt them onto the ship. You can't expect predictable behavior!
Roland, what is this damn thing? Unknown, Spartan. Sense at physical persuasion haven't had much effect. Damn thing stuck fast. She's all yours, Doc. Oh. Hey, look at this. Like Dr. Glassman! Oh. Oh. Captain! Ah! Captain Lasky, the captain of Aladdin requests permission to bring the prisoner aboard. Last chance to change your mind. It's too late for that, Sarah. We need to know what's going on. She was locked up for a reason. Permission granted, Roland. Dr. Halsey, thank you for coming. I'm not walking around the ship I built with my hands cuffed. Show me the artifact. Rather dark for a proper investigation. We have random fluctuations all over the ship, Doctor. Power's still completely out of ground zero. I'll get additional lighting set up ASAP. That would be good. Have there been any other reactions since... Since what happened to Dr. Glassman? No. I see. Careful. I'm not Henry Glassman, Captain. Trust me, Doctor. I know who you are. Yes. And I see you've decided I rate three of the new model. Captain Lasky asked for the best. And yet... What is it, Doctor? Engine room. She's bad news, man. Mad scientist stuff. She created the original Spartans. Master Chief? No way. Yeah. Yeah, story goes, she kidnapped a bunch of kids. What? What would an old lady like her do with kids? First, we taught them how to be silent. Then we taught them how to be Spartans. Roland? Engine room's on lockdown, Captain. All systems operating nominally. You know, Captain, I can't fly Infinity without human aid. Don't worry, Roland. We'll take her off your hands again shortly. And now we're letting the war criminal touch things. I could type for her, if that'd make you feel better. It would help. She installed these engines. No one in the UNSC understands them as well as she does. Hey! The artifact... Forerunner is talking to your engines, also Forerunner. But it is also communicating with these other systems as well. Some systems, some electrical, lower deck life support. Only the engines are Forerunner tech. The rest is human. Indeed. But the artifact is reaching out to them. And it and your engines are transmitting... To Requiem. You came here to study the planet. Instead, something on the planet studying you.
Shadow Rakushin. Dark, Rocky Inc. Danger Mother, Rotashiro, Andrew, Sodakine, Itaiwa, Artifa, Itaquen. Why the hell did you volunteer to babysit the Dragon Lady anyway? I'm just curious, that's all. Whatever, man. Have fun. Dr. Halsey? Spartan Thorn, I'll be your escort for the day. You knock, at least. Most people don't. Looks like we better get you to work. Doctor, I understand you worked with the original Spartans. I'm afraid it's all still quite classified. But the original Spartans were conscripted as children. I did what was required. But why children? Why do you think? Well, it could have given them an edge. Starting that young. Not knowing anything else. There were many reasons behind the choices we had to make. Psychological and physiological. Psychological? So you don't think we're capable of being Spartans? Perhaps some of you are closer than others. If you'll excuse me, please. Roland, bring up REQ-153-N. I presume you'd like to start it before the tragedy. Please, Roland. Castle team just got hit running supplies into Copernicus. Copernicus? Science base. Looking for the librarian AI that Master Chief encountered? Instead, they found something else. Jewel Amdama. Yeah. Because Requiem wasn't messed up enough. So, Mr. Thorne, what interest is my research to you, specifically? I enlisted with the Spartans because... I was in the army a year before my family and friends were killed in New Phoenix. I always thought the Spartans were special. Maybe I could have saved them. And does it help you, help your grief, being here on Requiem, shooting at... What do they call them, Prometheans? Doctor? Prometheus stole fire from the gods, and gave it to humanity. I'm simply curious what gifts, if any, the Promethean life forms have to offer. They're forerunner robots. Hard light and battle armor, ruthless, brutal. What can they offer us? Nothing but trouble, Doctor. They're simply killing machines. Interesting. Dr. Halsey. Quiet, please. I'm working. Love, uh, I keep telling you people I don't speak Sengali. Progress. I've got to have better equipment. More materials. You're, you're giving me two sticks to rub together here, technologically speaking. Ah! Okay, okay. Uh, no need for a translation there. You're saying there's an actual living forerunner inside of this thing. Huh. I wonder what she could tell us. Get that package off Galileo base and back to Infinity Pronto. So now we're crew.
Crimson's delivery service? How come we never get the interesting jobs? With me, Hoya. <laughs> Moving out. Get the cover! Just had to open your big mouth again, Madsen. We're not dead yet, Grant. Hit! Regroup! On me! Thorn, Madsen, move it! Anti-air's down! Yes, Thorn, I noticed. All right, Spartans. We're packing up this picnic. Everybody, get to the Pelican! Let's move! Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! If we try to fly, we're dead. Hoya! Yeah? Take this. Prep for liftoff. I've got an idea. Uh, Thorn, get back here! That's an order! We've got this! Just go! Taking a reading. Oh my. Doctor. A moment, please. Intriguing. Doc, this thing looks kind of familiar. Yes, it's very similar to an AI matrix. But we expected that. Dr. Holt! Roland, freeze all monitors. Pictures? Civilian life. Maybe a colony or something. Not pictures. Memories. An alien AI full of human memories. That's New Phoenix. I grew up there. No. Well, that can't be right. You knew this, didn't you, Captain Lasky? The UNSC is aware that Prometheans are ancient humans. That is not ancient. That is the attack on Earth from six months ago. You knew. This is impossible. I, I have no idea how the hell these memories got from Earth to here. Thorn! What is it, Doctor? I suspect we have misunderstood the artifact's true purpose. And that is? I'm working on it. It's amusing to see you not have the answer to everything, for once. Enough has been kept from me. I've decided to start questioning all my prior assumptions. Doctor, this is as much a surprise to us as it is to you. I suspect that's a lie, Captain. The librarian? Doctor? What are you really doing? Who are you talking to? You're rude! You won't rude! Farmer. Take Dr. Halsey into custody. Haha! <laughs> it works! Yes, man. Well, at least something works. Why did those people see you? What? Everything. But the UNSC acts like children at play in a sandbox, mistaking its edges for the limits of the world. 
I bet they keep you in something a lot smaller than a sandbox from now on, Catherine. Why? I shared no information. The intelligence already knew my name, my task, and offered data that might advance our research by years. This is a research mission, after all. Even if you treat it like a live fire war game. Commander Palmer. Roland, not now. Actually, a bit of an emergency, Captain. Spartan Thorn has been detected alive on Requiem. what I've done. Can I ask you a question, Doc? What were you hoping to achieve with your little subterfuge? I mean, Captain Lasky put a lot of faith in you. Yes, his hospitality speaks wonders. Come on, Doc. What has keeping secrets ever really gained you? What is hidden can be useful. Such as? Such as the phrase, undid iridium. Un undid, did, undid, did, undid. UNSCAI override instructions active, Dr. Catherine Halsey. Roland, tell the guards outside that Captain Lasky has requested my presence in his ready room. Then block all further communications. Yes.
Captain has to see you, Doctor. Have a seat, Doctor. Thank you, gentlemen. You may go. Roland, give me full access to this terminal. Yes, Dr. Catherine Palsy. The Didax hand. If people would just share things with me, I could solve all the world's problems. Send everything the UNSC has on the librarian to my data pad. Yes, Dr. Catherine Halsey. This is all my own research. I need new information. Anything that has been kept from me. Only one data point exists that is not your own research. Debriefing of Master Chief Petty Officer Spartan 117, post-New Phoenix incident. John? Roland, prep a pelican for immediate launch. And patch this terminal into the comm systems infiltrated by the artifact. Doc, whatever you did to me! Ah! Yes, Dr. Catherine Halsey. Jewel Emdama. Guy, I am Catherine Halsey. We have played your game quite long enough. And we are both out of time. In our previous conversation, you mentioned assistance. <coughs> Who but the Didax Hand could offer me a Promethean soul? <coughs> what we both want, Jewel. Librarian. A powerful name for me as well as you. Librarian was very fond of humans. Did you know that? That was a dirty trick, Doc. My turn now. Stay right where you are, Doctor. Doctor Halls, I've underestimated you long enough. A cryo tube should hold you until John's alive. He was here on the ship. Nobody told me he was alive. Walking anyway. Isn't your armor all full of calm gear? Used to be. <laughs> how, how much further? Galileo base is two, maybe three clicks that way. Another couple hours and we'll be home. <sighs> Dr. Glasper, get to safety! Huh? Keep moving, Doctor! Found him, Roland! Dr. Halsey, too. Still alive? For now. Was there some concern? Maybe a little.
looking absolutely everywhere for you. <laughs> Lieutenant James, take us out of orbit. Move us far enough away from Requiem that those things can't get on board. Controls aren't responding, Captain. Infinity's locked in position. Captain, look here. The artifact is acting as a slip space anchor, holding us in place. Slip space isn't physical. It can't there hold. There's still a great many things we don't know about slip space. You, quiet. You were supposed to fix this whole thing days ago. I'm sorry, Captain. Damn it! It was a smash and grab. They came here just for her. Some of these tags belong to Spartans. With my thanks. <laughs> oh. Nice. Watch this. <laughs> you guys are getting all the cool stuff. Ah. What's this? Oh, great. I got a map. Captain Lasky? Admiral Osman, you've seen the report on Dr. Halsey? I was advised to keep Catherine in the darkest, deepest hole I could find. Or have her removed from the equation entirely. Regrettably, I chose to do neither. So, Captain, today I shall follow my predecessor's advice. You are hereby ordered to eliminate Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey. I think it is power you seek. Knowledge is power. Glassman did this? I wouldn't be so sure. The protective shield is emanating from the structure itself. And if I'm right... Access requires a more human touch. <laughs> She's only out here because of me. I mean, we're soldiers, not hitmen. Alzi knew what she was doing when she made friends with the bad guys. I'm serious. We, we shouldn't have to execute a civilian. No, but it has to be done. And I don't trust anyone else to do it right. There has to be another way. I, I mean... I know what you mean, Tom. And I won't see you court-martialed over that woman. Sarah, stand down! Orders are orders, Tom. This isn't my first rodeo. I don't suppose it is. Roland, where's Fireteam Majestic right now? Right there. Fire team Majestic. Talk to Glassman. Glad to see everyone alive and well. Captain Lasky. Wasn't expecting to see you here, sir. Majestic, I have a personal favor to ask. Dr. Halsey has been abducted. Welcome. You. You are librarian. Wife of Didact. There is a Covenant cultist leader outside. He thinks you have something valuable. And he is correct. But what I have is not for him. It is for you. Catherine Halsey. Ah! 
This is the Janus Key. It offers the real-time location of every piece of Forerunner technology in the galaxy. Every piece? We did not create so much without a means to catalog it all. This was meant for my husband to help your people. And his meditation was complete. Take this key to the absolute record. Use what you find to propel humankind. Why give this to me? Requiem's time is at an end. The key, and what it details, must not be lost. Captain Lasky sent us to rescue Dr. Halsey. Rescue her? She's a traitor! All due respect, Commander. If she was on Juel Mdama's side, then why was she so sure I needed to get this before he could? Majestic found shows two more artifacts down on Requiem, just like the one in our hangar. Now, they are the Requiem end of a slip space conduit which is physically connecting Infinity to Requiem. If we can deactivate them, Infinity should be free to move. Commander Palmer, we're sending down the necessary deactivation codes. Majestic and I will take care of the first artifact. Roland, send Fireteam Crimson the second set of coordinates. You got it, Commander. Commander! Ah, oh, hell. Battle stations! Captain! They're not attacking. They're entering slip space. This can't be good. We're moving! Captain, it's not us that's moving. It's Requiem. The artifact conduits. They're pulling Infinity with it. Straight into the sun. If we have to find those artifacts before Infinity can leave... Then let's get moving, Spartans. Sarah, 
right, how's it going on Requiem? It's getting awful warm out here. Crimson got their score. Ours is proving slightly more difficult. Anybody tell these goons their buddies left them behind? But Justin, move up! Coming through! Fire in the hole! Honey! Almost there! Let's move it, Majestic! Move up! Clear! Artifacts offline. Let's get out of here. Dr. Glassman? It's off the floor, Captain! Try now, Lieutenant James. It's working. We're free! Sarah, pour on whatever extra speed you got. We gotta leave, now! We're almost home. Crimson are dead ahead, Commander. Punch it! Hands aboard. LT, get us the hell out of here. Aye, sir. Emergency jump complete, Captain. Injuries reported on multiple decks, but no major casualties. Captain Lasky to all crew. We made it! Good work, everyone! You sent them to stop me. I sent them to rescue Dr. Halsey. You see a difference? Doctor, what have you got? Well, the, the first test showed that it is inert. But, and this part's really weird. <laughs> On a molecular level, it's incomplete. It just, it makes no sense. It's like, it's like we're only seeing half of it. That was before I knew my compatriots were a hit squad, not a rescue team. Not that I've fared much better in your care. No, Moewari. The UNSC just tried to execute me. So you'll need to offer something other than idle threats if you want me to help you. That's easy, Jewel. I want revenge. Spartan Lock. I have spent enough years with Oni to know the truth. Once this is over, after all I have done, they'll order you to kill us both.
Fire Team Osiris. Over the last 72 hours, five colonies have experienced identical events. Massive destruction, forerunner in origin. And Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey has managed to contact us. She claims to have information on these attacks. Halsey is currently in Covenant custody on the surface of Kamchata. Your mission is to insert behind enemy lines, retrieve Halsey, and bring her back to Infinity. Be advised, Dr. Halsey is accompanied by Covenant Supreme Leader Jewel Dama. If you have the opportunity... Understood, Commander. Good luck, Spartan Lock. Infinity out. Tracking gear online. Affirmative. Say, before we make this jump, anybody want to say a few words? I figure if God can hear how scared I am, so can everyone else. Lock, you buying the first drink when we're done? You ask, you buy. <laughs> Fire Team Osiris, the light is green. to discuss the finer points of casual reconciliation? Or human sarcasm. So you have learned something from me, Julie. You claim to be able to access... And I can. However, I did not claim to be able to access it instantaneously. Seems your fingers are an open rebellion, Han. Enough! Hey, good looking. Eyes on target. This location does not serve my needs. When she makes another transmission, I must triangulate. I tire of this doctor. You have been chasing shadows for weeks to no avail. Lasky would like a word with you. It took you long enough. Fire Team Osiris, you are cleared to land in 
Docking Bay 11. I sent you my position three weeks ago. I told you this was happening. We'll discuss that in private, Doctor. Palmer. What has she done? How far has it already gone? Good work, Osiris. What do you think that's about? seen Chief press himself like this since we were in boot camp. He's fine, Fred. And this many missions non-stop isn't fun. Sierra 117 to infinity. Blue team has located Argent Moon. Signs of hostile activity, but she's still here. Copy that, 117. Eliminate all hostiles. Secure Argent Moon. You may deploy when ready. Affirmative infinity. 117 out. Sierra 117 to Blue Team. Report. Sierra 117. Does anyone copy? The domain is open. Meridian is next. Cortana? John, the reclamation is about to begin. What's 
control. She's on Meridian. Who? Cortana. Clear. Time, Linda. 89 seconds. Sierra 117 to infinity. Argent Moon scuttled. I've reassigned blue team. Destination Meridian. Potential contact from Cortana. Negative 117. Another team is already being prepped to deal with her. What the hell? You're to return to infinity immediately. Negative infinity. I don't like it. Whoever they are, let's get to Meridian before they do. Kelly, no. No need to do this by yourself, Chief. Marshal all of us, right? This was happening. Cortana is no longer an asset, Captain. She is a danger. She has access to the Forerunner domain, a galaxy spanning network Cortana's that alive? allows her to control whatever devices caused this damage. How is she? Master Chief believes she contacted him. What? Oh, John must not speak to her. He's gone in search of her. You let him go? How is Nobody it? Nobody lets the Chief do anything. He does what he wants. And until 0631 this morning. When he was declared absent without leave. This isn't about the Master John Chief. is not equipped emotionally to deal with her as a threat. Hey! Is anyone gonna answer me? You're out of line, Roland. Yes, sir. But so is everyone else. You created Cortana, Doc. And now you're throwing her out the airlock with these accusations. Roland. You think she tricked the Master Chief into abandoning his post? Respectfully, sir, to what end? Why is Cortana the problem? Because she refused to die when she was supposed to? You're okay with this? Not just another target, you know. Every target is just another target, Buck. Yeah. For you, maybe. I love being an ODST. Just point and shoot. None of this gray area of BS. I mean, how are you even supposed to bring them in? Ask politely? No. The hell? Armor restraint. Short circuit their suit systems. The lock. Every other Spartan, every soldier, when they hear about this, they're gonna hate us. You know that, right? You're not the only one here because of him.
to serve her. What was that? Well, let's go find out. We're sitting ducks here. Agreed. Move! Your presence in the Guardian's shelter is undesirable. Are you the guardian? I am a warden of eternal. I stand in service to Cortana. Cortana? The other humans are approved for passage. Regretfully, you are not. That sounds like a threat. Vacate his shelter now. That was a threat, all right. The warden said Cortana was calling them to her. She's not here. Oh, they built them big, didn't they? Figure that's the Guardian? Can't get much by a buck. Stay where you are. One one seven, stand down. Sir, you are absent without leave. This is your one chance to come home peacefully. Blue team, stand down. I have a job to do. Cortana's our concern now, sir. Like hell she is.
more events following Meridian. It's 11 colonies. I need a means to stop this now. The Warden confirmed Dr. Halsey's theory. Cortana is activating the Guardians. But not this one. Not yet. It's an ion. A pre-covenant religious site on San Helios. It's a Guardian on the Elite Homeworld? If we can get a team on the ground, we can access that Guardian. San Helios is off-limits. Brass wants nothing to do with the Arbiter's War. That's because they haven't heard my great idea. That noise is an encoded numerical pattern. Paired quantum phase sets. Slip space coordinates for a forerunner map. If Locke's team could feed the Guardian the coordinates recorded on Meridian, it would take them to the same place Cortana took Master Chief. Tom, we can stop this. But it means going to San Helios. I'll make arrangements. There's another one. What's Cortana up to, Chief? Why'd she bring us here? Let's keep moving. Chief, look. What did this? Identify yourself. I am the Warden Eternal. I stand in defense of Cortana. She called me to her. And you came scampering.
She knows your forgotten name. Who you were before you were 117? Do you find it odd your trusted companion should keep so much to herself? Take me to Cortana. Not just your Come. Let us talk some more. if Halsey can learn to speak Guardian. I'll have a briefing for you by the time we reach San Helios. See you, planet side. So, you wrote a target dossier on the Arbiter when you wrote Tony. That was six years ago. What's your point? You recommended assassinating him. After we killed millions of our people. So why didn't you? Things changed. Is engaged in combat. We will escort you to him. Locke. The planet's deep in civil war. If this all goes sideways... I understand, sir. It's not my first mission that doesn't exist. Good luck, Spartan. San Helios will be free! You know what I did to create the Spartans. All in the name of the greater good. Doctor, we don't have time. Cortana is built from a matrix of my own mind. The domain gives her incredible power. I understand. Spartan Locke! Stop her! But please, bring John home to me. Cyrus, form up. Everyone ready? Actually, Tanaka, if I could ask a favor. Just you say a word or two? Come a long way together. A long way yet to go. Let's make a good jump like we mean to. And handle fools like we need to. 90 seconds to insertion point. And may buck by the first round when we get back. We get through this. I'll buy the whole damn bar. Team Osiris. 
The light is green. Guardians leave without us. Could be some way to. Osiris, oh, get your asses in gear. I'm coming in hot. You best be ready to go. Move. Today we extinguish the Covenant's light. There, the others. Chief. Chief, please wait. Cortana. She's dangerous. I know. You don't have to do this alone. We're here to help you. You're too late to do anything. Cortana. No! Oh no. She should not have brought him so close to her. This will push the Warden Pest all restraint. Where'd she take us? Cortana. What is this? Cortana, answer me. Warden, no! Yes. The mantle of responsibility belongs to Cortana and her people. Focus fire. You will not betray her! protection from. Hello, John. It's good to see you. You've changed. It was time. I know we have a disagreement, but once you understand my plan... Your plan? As we do as you say. I'm offering people a chance to be more than they are naturally. Like Dr. Halsey did for me. No. That monster forced you. This is a gift. Listen to yourself. Stand down, Cortana. Come home with us. It's not too late to stop this. Stop. No, John. This is too important to stop. What are you doing? I'm just 
needed to know if I could still trust you. You'll be safe inside this cryptum until my work is done. Cortana. Cortana? Her and the other AIs are shutting down everything from Earth to the outer colonies. Roland? Found you. Hide and seek's over, Infinity. Lieutenant Jet, emergency slip space now! Galaxy shelters all, but only the created are its masters. We're in the clear, Captain. Can she track us? No reason to think she can. Continue random jump. Steer clear major settlements. We're just gonna run? Only until we could find a way to fight. It took you long enough. 